we're just gonna get straight to the beard. Now I already have my clippers right here. Gonna be using the uh, wall detailers. You guys know I've been using these trimmers for a really long time. Again, these are not the only trimmers that I have. Um, I couldn't say these are the best ones, um, but kinda these are some of my favorite, but I don't know if I could really wreck them to beginners. But yeah, if you guys are in the barber industry, if you guys look up a lot of barber videos, this is gonna be one of the main ones that people are using. If you go to the barber shop, you're gonna see your barber using, I don't really think they use these too much in the barber shop. Um, but yeah, I don't have those clippers that they use. I know which ones they are, but I'm not really gonna recommend them or anything because I haven't tried them personally. I've been, I've been cut with them by a barber and the details and everything came out great, but with me personally uh, not having those trimmers, I can't recommend them to you. So in case these companies wanna send me some trimmers, I'm just gonna be using the same stuff, guys. That's why I've kinda slowed down a little bit with the uploads, cause I'm telling you guys stuff straight from the heart. This is not scripted. I literally just say, hey, I need to line up my beard today. I need to shave my head today. If I'm in a good mood to talk, I just set up the camera and press record, and I just, just start talking to y'all, guys. There's no script at all here. Nobody is approving these videos. I'm not getting paid for this video or nothing. I'm doing this just out of love for y'all. And I hope you guys are doing good. And I hope you guys are still rocking with me, even though I don't upload uh, grooming-related stuff as much on this channel. But your boy's still making stuff happen, just so you know. Uh, all right, so I already took a shower before I started rambling my mouth and uh, did all this stuff, right? So the beard is good. The beard is clean. You all see me just shave my head. And now we're going to go ahead and line it up. Let's go ahead and get... My little brush right here. Make sure there's no little micro hairs sitting in between the blades. Um, I also don't remember the last time that I cleaned them. So we'll just go ahead and clean them right now with a little spray from our Cool Lube. Again, the link for the, the trimmers, the lube, everything else that I use, neverdenymecom slash grooming. Get your kit, y'all. It's gonna be good. All right, now, where I was able to talk a lot when it came to um, shaving my head, I can't really do too much talking because, <clears throat> again, excuse me, we gotta be precise with these lines. So I guess for the rest of this video, I might just throw up some music, be quiet, let y'all chill. Uh, and I'd love to hear you guys sound off in the comments, drop an emoji, drop just drop something in the comments, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe if you're not already, not already subscribed. And also make sure, I know there's gonna be plenty of cards that I'm gonna need to add to the video. So click on them. If you guys want more details about what you see me getting ready to do, let's go. I hope y'all been finding a way, by the way, to, uh, to make sure you stay groomed during this quarantine. For all of you who maybe just started watching my videos when this quarantine came around, um, or for those who have been subscribed to my channel and just watch out of entertainment and you've still been going to a barber the whole time I hope your barber been cutting your hair on the low even though they supposed to be you know having them shops closed I hope they've been doing house calls or something because I can only imagine Because I told you how I'll be looking man if, if I don't shave my head when that hair start growing back when it don't grow in full I'll be like hell no hell no so I can only imagine how y'all been looking about two, three months now with just letting y'all hair grow, looking crazy or not having no beard lineup. Oh man, y'all gonna be feeling like a whole new person when y'all get that lineup. Y'all gonna have to re-meet yourself all over again. Hmm. Enough talking though, back to the shade. Let y'all see what we working with before I even put the line to it. There it is. I'm about to fix that right on up. Y'all see it? We put a nice little line in there. There we go. And this is straight up with the trimmers. Didn't even put a straight edge razor to it or nothing like that. So I'm gonna hit it on the other side. And then depending on how it looks, I don't even think I need the straight edge razor. I actually haven't even used it in a while. As a matter of fact, which I know, I still got it ready whenever I need it. And some of y'all, man, 
y'all need to really watch my older videos and pay attention to the close-ups and stuff because anybody I know that has one of these, trust me. Also, this is a question for you guys just to sound off in the comments. If you have a straight razor, how significant does this help your line like pop out more? Any barber could tell you that this thing right here does magic to your lineup. But normal people watching the video, I did a video with that before. I don't know which video it was, but somebody literally left a comment and said, I don't see a difference from when I just used trimmers to line myself up and when I used that to line myself up. Maybe that could be a good thing. Maybe that means I just, you know, know how to work the trimmers and get a super sharp line. But if you know, you know. If you don't, I don't know what else to say to you. But let me go ahead and knock out this other side right here. This side, all done, looks real nice. All right, y'all, so I think I'm good with the mustache. Now what I'm gonna do though, I'm gonna go ahead and fade the beard into the bald head, just get some trimmers. Again, I'm not really gonna show you guys uh, a little how-to and stuff like that. If you wanna see that, go to my channel right now. I'm just gonna go ahead and do it so y'all can watch and learn. Or if you want me to give you directions and stuff like that, go on my channel and watch the, the full-on uh, explain tutorial on how to fade a bald head into your beard. I got a lot of hair in the sink. So it don't look like I took off much, but there's a lot of hair in the sink. But you guys can see it's pretty nice and smooth. Lines is crispy. And this is what you call beard maintenance, guys. So it's not something I need to do every time. Not every single week that I need to cut the beard down. If you do it every single week and you're trying to grow a beard, you ain't never going to have no beard. Or if you have a beard and you keep trying to do the maintenance every single week, um, as far as like cutting it down and stuff like that, you're never going to have a big beard uh, if you're cutting down with what looks like knots and stuff like that to you. I only do this once a month or so. And, you know, through this quarantine, I ain't been lining up my beard too much unless I really have somewhere to go. Even though we're supposed to be staying in the house, y'all, for the most part, I'm staying in the house. But after a while, I'm like, okay, I got to do something. I got to go to the post office post office to drop off some packages or something. And then that's when I've been lining uh, my beard up. So now I'm going to show you guys what I do as in an after treatment. First thing I do is get a towel, get some hot water, and just rub the area down. You know, I would say close the pores, but they say to use cold water for that. But I prefer hot water, and as long as I've been doing it, Ain't nothing been happening to me, so I guess you could choose if you want to use hot water or cold water. I like using hot. Nice little fade in the beard. But don't forget we shaved the head too, so we're going to rub the head down. By the way, I forgot exactly who it was that commented, but I don't know if you guys noticed today that when I shaved my head, I didn't even pull out the mirror to shave the back. I just, you know, did it by just feeling it. So that I think they said... Um, I've been shaving my head for so long I shouldn't need the mirror and that's true but I just be trying to use the mirror and all the tools and stuff like that for beginners to make it easier for you because when you're first learning and stuff uh, and everybody that watches my videos is not really advanced I feel like most people are learning that's why they're watching me um, they would kind of 
I, I can't have y'all walking out the house with a whole bunch of patches in the back of your head because you've seen me do it. So make sure you use a mirror. Again, I have plenty of videos on my channel of different ways that I do the same type of stuff using different tools, different methods, lining my beard up with a popsicle stick. I can use a disposable razor to line my beard up. I can do it with trimmers. I can do it with um, what I use, a straight razor, anything, y'all. So a lot of stuff on my channel to watch. Find a method that works for you. Stick with it. Um, I'm also going to be adding some hot water now to my beard. Still got them curls popping at the end. So it's not like I took everything off the beard. But at the end of the day, when it's nice and picked out and everything like that, it looks sharp. As you guys can see, when you're looking at the side, you don't see no hairs or nothing like sticking out. Everything is even as I'm rotating. Lines are nice and sharp. They're crispy. It's still curly, so I still got the volume down at the bottom. And it's also not like a super see-through and stuff like that. I see a lot of people. Of course, I don't be saying nothing because it's not my duty to judge somebody else's beard. Like y'all be doing to me sometimes. But um, some people, they'd rather have... And this is something I had to learn as well. Some people choose the length of the beard over the health of their beard. The beard be way down here. But then this whole part right here, you can see right through it. You can just see nothing but a red shirt. And then the beard just, the beard strings be over here. People be wanting their beard to pop off to make it look like they got a super long beard. Whole time, it be sticking out way out here. Whole thing is see-through. Like, you got to cut it off, man. You got to cut it off. And that's something I learned as well because I didn't want to have a nice big beard. And I still do have a nice, big, healthy, super dark beard. But at one point in time, my stuff was super low. And, um... I don't know, something I just snapped my fingers one day and I was just like, wait a minute, that don't look too good and I cut it. Um, anyway, throw that to the side, right? Now the same way I lined up, well not lined up my hair, but I prepared my head um, with the coconut oil right here. That's what I'm getting ready to put back on it. Not my head, but in my, my beard. Don't need too much, just a little dibble dabble there. Rub this in. I can use coconut oil now. So coconut oil is one of the things that I've been using for a really long time. But then when the weather started getting cold, um, coconut oil, it'll look nice and stuff when you're in the house. As soon as you step outside in that cold weather, your whole beard is going to freeze up. It's going to be hard as a rock. You try to tilt your head down, you're going to stab yourself in the chest. And that's not good. You can't be dying on your way to work or wherever you're going. So I stopped really using coconut oil. But, you know, it's getting real hot now. So I can go back to using coconut oil. It's a, a really good multi-purpose oil. As you guys seen, I use coconut oil to prepare my head to shave my head. And the head is looking real smooth. The shave was great. Um, and I'm also using the same coconut oil now to get all up into my beard. Now, I wouldn't tell y'all no lies, man. That's what today's video was all about, guys. It's just about me being honest with you guys. Me turning down money just to do things that I want to do. I don't even know if I mentioned that part. So again, over a year ago, Gillette wanted me to pretty much be one of the first people to announce a new product to you guys. They offered me money, but I didn't take the money. I turned it down because of the certain restrictions and they wanted me to do sign a contract and they wanted, had a, they wanted to have control over my channel and my other social media and all that. I'm just like, first of all, y'all didn't offer that much to be controlling all this type of stuff. So uh, no deal there. But <clears throat> I do want to let y'all know that for you guys, I still went out and picked up the product like a year later when I felt like doing it, but I still went out and picked up the products. And if you go out and watch both of those videos, I didn't even really talk down on it like that. Maybe I talked down on it in certain areas and said, you know, this and that, just got to watch the video. But then I talked in certain other videos and other areas saying, hey, I recommend it, try it, do this and that. So my opinion is not, I'm not hating on the company or nothing like that because I didn't work with them. They offered to pay me and stuff like that. But I prefer to do things my way because I think that's the reason why I have a, a good amount of subscribers and I've been successful as far as I've been uh, because you guys noticed that. So again, a company sent me a product. I did a video. They didn't like it. I did it and uploaded, it, uploaded the video anyway. You guys loved it, so I didn't really care what the company thought, but trust me, after you guys liked it, they kind of changed their mind. It was like, oh, okay, well, yep. I like to have my own creative things and do what I want and say what I want in my videos. When I'm doing the work, I'm going to do what I want. I'm going to say what I want. I'm going to be honest when I'm doing it too though. So that's the thing. And I do really feel like 
uh, the people who watch me appreciate that. So if you guys do appreciate that and the way that I've been doing these videos for a long time, I just want to say that I appreciate you right back. Um, and yeah, this is going to be one heck of a video to edit. I don't know how long I'm going to get it down to, but just know that I've been in here shaving my head, lining my beard up, and doing a whole lot of talking for a really long time. So I'm going to just go ahead and stop it right here. And I'm going to say, again, I appreciate y'all. And subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. Peace.